What about us moments to downtown Raymond? You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Friday, August 18th, 2023. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Enter Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Netflix is giving a glimpse of the new film Love at First Sight. The streaming service shared a first look teaser Friday featuring over two minutes of footage from the romantic film. Love at First Sight is based on the Jennifer E. Smith novel, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. Haley Lee Richardson and Ben Hardy play Hadley and Oliver, two young people who meet by chance at an airport and form an instant connection. The teaser shows Hadley, played by Richardson, and Oliver, played by Hardy, bond on their flight as Oliver helps distract Hadley from her fear of flying. The official synopsis reads, A long night on the plane, together passed in the blink of an eye, but upon landing at Heathrow, the pair are separated and find each other in the chaos seem impossible. Will Faye intervene to transform the seatmates into soulmates? Jamila Jamil, Dexter Fletcher, Rob Delaney, and Sally Phillips also star. Love at First Sight is written by Kay Lovejoy and directed by Vanessa Caswell. The film premieres September 15th. Netflix previously released a trailer for the movie in July. Richardson is known for starring in The White Lotus Season 2, while Hardy portrayed Peter Beale on the British soap opera East Enders. Bravo announced a lineup of talent attending BravoCon. BravoCon takes place November 3rd to 5th at Caesars Forum in Las Vegas. Over 160 stars of the Bravo re- reality TV series will attend. These include cast members from Below Deck, Vanderpump Rules, and the Real Housewives franchise, plus Watch What Happens Live host Andy Cohen. From Below the Deck, Captain Jason Chambers, Captain Lee Rosbach, Captain Glenn Shepard, Captain Carrie Teetherage, Captain Sandy Yon, Kate Chastain, David Calhier, Gary King, Colin McRae, Fraser Olander, and Aisha Scott are confirmed. From Vanderpump Rules, stars Brock Davies, James Kennedy, Lala Ken, Ali Lieber, Ariana Maddox, Kate Maloney, Tom Sothaval, Tom Schwartz, Shanna Shea, and Lisa Vanderpump are confirmed. Cast members from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Beverly Hills, Dubai, Miami, New Jersey, New York City, Orange County, uh, Potomac, Salt Lake City, and Ultimate Girls Trip will attend. Disney Plus is giving a glimpse of the new show Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The streaming service shared a teaser and December premiere date for the fantasy series Friday. Peter Jack, uh, Peter, uh, Percy Jackson, Percy Jackson and the Olympians is based on the Rick Rodarin book of the uh, book series. The show follows Percy Jackson, played by Walker Scalpel, a 12-year-old modern demigod who is just coming to terms with his newfound powers when the sky god Zeus accuses him of stealing his master lightning bolt. With the help of his friends Grover, played by Arian Chimahadri, and Annabeth, played by Leah Sava Jeffries, Percy must embark on an adventure of a lifetime to find it restored order to Olympus. Lin-Manuel Miranda, Megan Mullaney, Toby Stevens, Virginia Cole, Jason Manitoukas, Jay Duplass, Glenn Turman, and the late actor Lance Reddick appears as guest stars. Uh, Rodarian worked with Percy Jackson showrunners John Steinberg and Dan Schultz on the Disney Plus adaptation. Rodarian's book was previously adapted as the film Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief in 2010, and Sea Monsters 2013, starring Logan Lerman and Alexander Daddario. Rodarian also announced that the Percy Jackson series in January 2022. The author will release a new book in the series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Chalice of the Gods, in September. Percy Jackson and the Olympians will have a two-episode premiere December 20th on Disney+. Plus. Paramount Plus released the first images of Morgan Freeman's appearances on Special Ops Lioness on Thursday. 
Freeman joins the cast on Sunday's episode. Freeman will play the Secretary of State Edwin Mullins. The show stars Zoe Zaldana as the leader of an elite program to train female agents. Nicole Kidman plays her overseer. Freeman was featured in the show's trailer in July and announced as part of the show's cast. Michael Kelly, Lalesa de la Leveria, David Annabelle, Jill Wagner, La Monica Garrett, James Jordan, Austin Herber, Jonah Wharton, Stephanie Nur, and Hannah Lee Lanier also star. Taylor Sheridan created Special Ops Loveness, uh, Lioness, inspired by a real military program. Lioness premieres July 23rd, Sunday will be its sixth episode. That was giving a glimpse of the final season of, of Disenchantment. The streaming service shared a trailer for the show's fifth and final season. Disenchantment is an anime of fantasy series from The Simpsons creator Matt Goring. The, fo- the show follows being played by Abby Jacobson, a rebellious princess from the fictional kingdom of Dreamland. The trailer shows Beacon, played by Jacobson, uh, travel and prepare to take on her mom, the evil Queen Dagmar, played by Sharon Horgan. The official synopsis reads, To save Dreamland from Queen Dagmar's wrath, Princess Bean must, must vanquish her mother and outrun the prophecy that foretells she will kill the one she loves. The voice cast also includes Nav Fixen as Elfo, Eric Andre as Lucha, John DiMaggio as King Zor, Therese McNeely as Queen Una, and Meredith Haggard as Moria. Netflix previously released a teaser for Season 5 that revisits Bean's journey through the seasons. This Enchantment Season 5 premieres September 11th on Netflix. CW announced the cast of F-Boy Island Season 3 on Thursday. The season begins October 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Kate Thurston of the Bachelorette, influencer Daniela Grace, and model Hallie Elkioo meet 21 guys on FB Island and figure out who are the bad boys and who are the nice guys. They include um, a 28-year-old consultant firm owner, Bryce G. from Los Angeles, 30-year-old teacher coach Christian L. from Houston, Texas, uh, 26-year-old DJ and healthcare consultant Connor F. from Kansas City, 24-year-old basketball player Curtis C.J.W. from Dallas, Texas, McQueets P. from Dallas, um, 25 years old, 30-year-old Chippendales dancer D.O.F. from Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, 25-year-old trucking company owners Elijah and Elijah D. from Houston, 25 personnel trainers um, Evander C. from Milwaukee, 22-year-old whole full hospitality and branding agency uh, agent Ian M. from Nashville, 24-year-old model and entrepreneur Jared A. from Miami, Florida. 31-year-old fashion creative director Jonathan T. from Los Angeles. Um, and 30-year-old opera singer Keith M. from Las Vegas. Uh, 25-year-old medical marketing salesman Chris T. from San Diego. 28-year-old auctioneer and comedian Mark D. from West Hollywood. 32-year-old singer-songwriter uh, Nick from Los Angeles. So it's time to announce the premiere date for the limited series Fellow Travelers on Thursday. The series premieres October 27th on the Paramount Plus with Showtime streaming plan and October 29th at 9 p.m. on Showtime. Matt Bomer and Jonathan Bailey play two politicians who fall in love amid Joseph McCarthy Robert Coyne, um author said, um, Roy Cohn's anti-LGBTQ tenure. The show covers four decades of their political lives amid changing political times. Uh, the synopsis or the caption for the Twitter announcement reads, These are eyes everywhere. Fellow Travelers is based on the book by Thomas Malone, Jelani Aladdin, Allison Williams, and Noah J. Ricketts. Ross Nainswanner, Crow uh, created the series and executive produces with Bomer, Robbie Roberts, D.D. D. Johnson, and Decoray, uh, Dan Manhari's free mantle produce of smell.
A three-day fan event of De Niro Con is being held in New York City in honor of Oscar-winning actor Robert De Niro's 80th birthday. The April 2024 event will include screenings, conversations, immersive experiences, exhibits, special guests, and more, according to a film press release from organizer Tribeca, Tribeca Firm. According to Tribeca's website, Tices are now on sale ranging from in price from $150 to $3,500. Nero turns 80 in his t- uh, today. He will soon be seen in the film Killers of the Howard Moon and Fox Moon. He has also starred in the, in the classics Taxi Driver, Mean Streets, The Godfather Part Two, Goodfellas, Meet the Parents. He is also the owner of the annual Tribeca Film Festival. People Magazine confirmed that a star-studded birthday was held for Capone in New York City. Uh, guests included Leonardo DiCaprio, Mar- uh, Way for um, Martin Scorsese, Paul McCartney, and his wife Nancy Chavon, Francis Port Coppola, George Lucas, Christopher Walken, Al Shapiro, Andrew Cuomo, Chas Palminteri, David Blaine, Bette Midler, and Jane Krakowski. Netflix is introducing the characters of the new series One Piece. The streaming service shared posters uh, for the show Thursday featuring Inaki Gaday, McKenyu, Jacob Romero Gibson, and Taz Schuyler. One Piece is a live action adaptation of the Ichiro Oda manga of the same name. The series follows Monkey D. Luffy, played by Gaday, and his straw hat pirates as they search for the mystical treasure known as One Piece. The producers feature Gooday as Luffy, Macken Yo as Swartzman, Veranda Zoro, Gibson as Marksman Ups, and Skylar as a she- chief, uh, a chef, and martial artist Sanji. Ada's One Piece manga first debuted in 1997. The manga has since inspired media franchises that includes an anime series, anime and feature films, and a series of video games. Apple TV Plus is introducing the new series, Monarch Legacy of Monsters. The streaming service shared a first look photo of the show Thursday featuring Kurt Russell, Riot Russell, and Ania Sawia. Monarch Legacy of Monsters is based on the legendary monster verse, the fictional universe featuring Godzilla, King Kong, and other uh, Tavai characters. The new series takes place in the wake of a thunderous battle between Godzilla and the Titans that as well um, thunderous battle between Godzilla and the Titans that level San Francisco and the shock revelation that monsters are real. The official synopsis reads, Monarch Legacy of Monsters uh, tracks two siblings from uh, following in their father's footsteps to uncover their family's connection to the secretive uh, orientation known as Monarch. Uh, clues have led them to the world of monsters and ultimately down the rabbit hole to Army Officer Lee Shaw taking place in the 1950s and half a century later where Monarch is threatening but by what Shaw knows. Kurt Russell plays an older version of Shaw while his son Wyatt Russell plays Pene, uh, Occupy a younger version of the character. Charlie Poof is back with new music. The 31-year-old singer-songwriter released a single and music video for the song Lipstick on Mo- on Friday. The Lipstick video shows Poof goes shirtless as he performs and smoke under red lightning. Lipstick is the first song to debut from Poof's forthcoming fourth studio album. He tweeted Thursday in regards to the song I'm putting out tonight. It is the start of my new album. It's also done. Uh, it's also one of my favorite mixes I've ever done. I think it's damn near a project. Putin, most recently, most recent album, Charlie, was Remember in October 2022. The album featured the singles Light Switch and Left and Right with BTS members Jungkook. In addition to the tap, to the, um, medic, uh, to, in addition to his music, Poof will also star in Charlie Make a Record, a new Roku series featuring borderline surreal 
scenarios inspired by his life and career. Celebrity couple Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton have released a cover of the Judd's song Love is Alive. Stefani and Shelton recorded the song for a new tribute album to the Judd's, a music duo composed of mother daughter pair Naomi and Winona Judd. Naomi Judd died at the age of 76 in April 2022. Shelton wrote on Instagram, thrilled to be part of this tribute album with a Gwen Stefani and the Judd's official are one of the greatest country acts of our lifetime in 80s country music is my favorite decade. I've been singing these cards, or I've been singing these songs as long as I can remember. Um, he also added, I have always admired the Judds, and I'm so thrilled to be part of this album. Um, Lowville is, uh, for some, um, Stefani added in a press release, I've always uh, admired the Judds, and I'm so thrilled to be part of this album. Love is Alive is an iconic track, and performing the song with Blake is a perfect way to honor the timeless discography. Little Nas X Long Live Montero, a new documentary about singer and rapper Little Nas X, will have its world premiere at the 2023 Toronto International Film Festival. Sony Pictures and TIFF announced in a tunic feat that. Friday that the film is screening September 9th at the Roy Thomas Hall. Long Live Montero is directed by Carlos Lopez Estrada and Zach Manuel. The documentary explores Lil Nas X's first ever concert tour while uh, in the same th- in the same name, which kicked off in September 2022 and concluded in October. The film, the film asks, um, captures one of today's most provocative pop stars at a transform a transportational point in his life both on and off stage he investigates, he investigates by saying indy indy will one day um come off and finally identify family and expectations and acceptance while reflecting on his place with the legacy of black queer performers Dolly Parton recruited former Beatles members Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr for a cover of the band's song Let It Be. uh, Parton released a cover of Let It Be on Friday featuring McCartney, Starr, Mick Fleetwood, and Peter Frampton. Parton announced the collaboration Sandal. Uh, She wrote on Instagram, this song is really special to me because I am joined by at Paul McCartney who wrote the song along with Ringo Starr music, uh, at Mr. Peter Frampton, and at Mick Fleetwood official. The Beatles originally recorded Let It Be in 1970. The song appears on the group's album of the same name. Parton's cover appears on her forthcoming album, Rockstar, which features nine original songs and 21 covers of favorite rock songs. uh, Parton also collaborated with Molly Cyrus, Stevie Nicks, Elton John, Steven Tyler, Pat uh, Pat Benatar, Debbie Gibson, Linda Perry, and other artists from the album. Uh, he said at the time, I'm so excited to finally be presented um, for, uh, finally present my first rock and roll album, Rockstar. I'm very honored and privileged to have worked with some of the greatest iconic singers and musicians of all time and to be able to sing uh, all the iconic songs throughout the album was a joy beyond measure. Parton, released by Gons, featuring Judas Priest, Raul Halford, and Magic Mike featuring uh, Ron uh, Hartz and Wilson in June. The singer will release Rockstar on November 17th. Demi Lovato has released a rock version of her song, Confident. The 30-year-old singer and actress released Confident Rock Version in a lyric video for the song Friday. The original version of Confident appeared on Lovato's album of the same name released in 2015. Lovato will include Confident Red ver- uh, Version and other rock uh, sections or versions of their song, including Sorry Never Sorry on their forthcoming album, Revamp. The album is scheduled for release September 15th. Uh, Lovato wrote on Instagram in July, breathing a new life into these songs. Um, these um, 
that plays such a huge role in my entire career has allowed me to feel so much better and uh and uh to my music than ever i can't wait for you i hear revamp on sat on september 15th lovato told rolling stones magazine in april 2022 that they were returning their focus to rock and emo music uh, the Dragger shared its, uh, similar sentiments on uh, tonight's show starring Jimmy Fallon and, the, and then Lovato's most recent album, Holy Fuck, was released in August 2022. Quavo's back with new music. The 32-year-old singer and rapper released his second studio album, Rocket Power, on Friday. Rocket Power is dedicated to Quavo's late nephew, Takeoff, who performed with him in the rap in the rap group the amigos takeoff died at the age of 28 in the shooting in houston in november 2022 rocket power features 18 songs including including fueled up party cake back where it begins which features vocals from takeoff quavo celebrates the release with the photo of a Times square billboard promoting the album he wrote do it for the rocket hashtag long live takeoff quavo announced rocket power in may uh, he says this album is for the rocket of our true fans, and also this is my therapy. This album is a true reflection of how I feel right now. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm down, sometimes I'm disappointed, sometimes I fall apart, but then I always find my strength again. I know everything might not be all right right now, but the rocket shows me a way to make it right. He says rocket power keeps me going, rocket power gives me fuel, rocket power will help us all overcome whatever we're going through. Quavo previously mourned Takeoff in the song Without You release in January. Migos also featured uh, singer and rapper Offset. The group's final album prior to Takeoff's death, Culture 3, was released in 2021. Sonny Gomez will return with new music next week. The 31-year-old singer and actress announced a fun new song, Single Soon, in a post Thursday. Gomez says she is not quite done with her new album, but will release Single Soon on August 25th. She wrote, Y'all have been asking for new music for a while since I'm not quite done with SG3. I wanted to put out a fun little song I wrote a while back that's perfect for the end of summer. Single Soon, August 25th. Gomez shared the news alongside promo art for the song and photos from A Night Out. Single Soon will mark Gomez's first song of 2023 and her first since My Mind and Me. Released in November 2022 for her Apple TV Plus documentary, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me. Gomez's most recent album, Rare, was released in January 2020, while her Spanish-language EP, Relevacion, came out in March 2021. Gomez teased new music on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in December 2022. She says, I'm so used to writing sad girl songs because I'm good at that, but now I'm ready to have some fun and I think people are going to like it. As an actress, Gomez stars on the Hulu series Only Murders in the Building, which returned for a third season in August. And finally, here are the top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 seal charts for the week of August 19th. Number 10, SZA with Snooze. Number 9, Molly Cyrus with Flowers. Number 8, Nicki Minaj and I Spice with Aqua with Barbie Girl. Number seven, Dua Lipa with Dance Tonight. Number six, Olivia Rodrigo with Vampire. Number five, Gunna with Fuck You Mean. Number four, Rama and Selena Gomez with Calm Down. Uh, number three, Taylor Swift with Cruel Summer. Number two, Luke Combs with Fast Car. And the number one song in the Billboard Hot 100 charts for the week of August 19th, Morgan Wallen with Last Night. And that is your entertainment report for Friday, August 18th, 2023. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night, and God bless you all.